Number 10. Madagascar's Mouse Lemur A new species of mouse lemur has been discovered in Madagascar as the tiniest primate in the entire world. That's right, it's not quite a tiny monkey, but to a lot of people, it's even cuter. You're gonna wish you had one of these as a pet. It's under a foot long, about 30 centimeters, and has giant, adorable eyes. It kind of looks like an alien, to be honest. But how did they find it? It all happened when scientists were on the hunt for lemurs in the forests of Madagascar. Out of nowhere, they spotted a pair of bright eyes glaring at them from out of the dark. The first thing they noticed was that the eyes were quite large, considering the animal was only about the size of a fist. Upon closer inspection, they realized that this was an entirely new mouse lemur that had never been seen before. This is outstanding, considering there are already 108 known species of lemur, and even more amazing since a third of them are currently critically endangered. Unfortunately for this newest lemur, it could already be on the edge of extinction. That is, according to Ut Radespiel from the University of Veterinary and Medicine, Hanover. Ut has been studying lemurs for 25 years and knows what he's talking about. It actually took 29 scientists coming together from six different countries to properly identify this animal as a new species, seeing as identifying a new lemur from all the other species is a huge undertaking. Nobody is sure how many of these creatures are left in the wild or how much longer they'll be around for. Number 9. Frog with Fangs In the Philippines, a new species of frog has just been found and it is absolutely bizarre. Scientists have discovered a fanged frog. That's right, it's a frog that has fangs like a vampire. And believe it or not, there are actually 75 recognized species of fanged frogs already living in the world. They can be found all the way from India to China, all throughout Thailand and Malaysia, and even down to Borneo and Sumatra. This particular fanged frog was found in the central Philippines, and it was hard to identify because of its similarities to other fanged frogs found on the island of Palawan. How did researchers identify it as a new species? They had to fully analyze the genome of the frog. What they discovered is that the species has been looking them right in the eyes for the past 100 years since biologists had known they were there but hadn't known they were different from other frogs. I guess a lot of frogs look the same even to frog researchers. To the untrained eye, of course, they look completely identical. But when scientists looked deep into their DNA, they found differences that make them unique. And in case you were wondering, fanged frogs don't feed on blood and they aren't dangerous. They just so happen to have fangs. I wonder what I would do if I had fangs. What do you think you'd do? Would you even want to? It might be cool for a little while, but it might also get in the way of eating some of your favorite foods. It's a tough call. Number 8. Translucent Cave Snail A strange new snail has been found deep inside of a mysterious cave in Croatia. It's a translucent snail that belongs to a family of land snails with absolutely no visual orientation, meaning they basically can't see. But that's okay, lots of animals can't see because they live in the dark. These snails live exclusively in caves and are hidden from the world at a depth of nearly 3,000 feet beneath the surface, living inside of rock chambers where humans don't dare wander. This snail is very fragile. It has a translucent shell and only a single living specimen has ever been found. As of right now, scientists don't know much about the snail. After all, they've only found one of them. They believe the snails probably live in the mud and have limited mobility. For all we know right now, this snail could be the only snail of its kind endemic to this particular cave system. That would be kind of sad though, being the only snail of its species. It sounds lonely, doesn't it? The cave is called Lukina Yama Troyama, and it's the deepest of its kind anywhere in Croatia with a maximum depth of just about 4,000 feet. The cave is so unique that it has three microclimatic layers. What that means is that it has three of its own ecological layers where the temperatures and climate is completely different. This gives almost unlimited possibilities for strange animals to develop, especially over thousands or millions of years. Number 7. Frilled Triceratops It's always a good time when scientists uncover new dinosaurs. An entirely new genus and species of horned dino has just been identified in New Mexico, thanks to an incomplete skeleton. 
The new dinosaur species is kind of like a frilled triceratops. It belongs to a group of ceratopsid dinosaurs and lived during the Cretaceous period some 82 million years ago. That makes it potentially the oldest member of the group. Even more interesting is that it's the smallest member of its group as well, only growing to be about 15 feet or 4.5 meters in length. It may have been the original ancestor of a group of dinosaurs that branched out and evolved, becoming powerful monsters with horns and strange bone-like shields growing out of their heads. The partial skeleton includes pieces of skull, arms and hind limbs, and ribs. It was found inside of a rock formation in New Mexico and roamed North America at a time when the ecosystem was rich with some of the earliest dinosaur species, including the famous Ankylosaur and some lesser-known Tyrannosaurus like dinosaurs, which were hungry carnivores. Number 6. Mysterious Florida Spider In South Florida, a new species of spider has been identified, and it is terrifying. It began when a zookeeper in Miami was checking reptile traps around the facility. It was the zookeeper who first found the mysterious arachnid and took a picture of it. The zookeeper then showed the photo to the research department at the zoo. What the researchers found was that the spider did not look like anything in the current records. But despite the intrigue, there wasn't much they could do and so the discovery sat on the back burner for two years. Until another spider that looked exactly like the first one was discovered. After the second discovery, Dr. Rebecca Godwin from the Piedmont College in Georgia was sent to investigate. She confirmed the spider as a new species and called it the Pine Rockland Trapdoor Spider. This spider is a specialist that creates burrows underground and can live in them for decades. She says that these are some of the longest living spiders known to man. But what's really strange is that the spider has only ever been seen around the Miami Zoo, which really does seem like a strange place to call home. Do you think the spider was there first and then the zoo was built? Or do you think the zoo was there and the spider moved in? If it did, it might be one of the most intelligent spiders ever to know that a zoo was a good place for animals to live. Number 5. Hammer-Headed Bat The hammer-headed bat is also known as the big-lipped bat. And yes, it is a very real animal. Even though it almost looks like some kind of flying demon and has been compared to the Jersey Devil, it is a real bat. It eats fruit and it is in no way aggressive, but it may actually carry the Ebola virus. Scientists are still investigating because if it does, it needs to be kept far away from humans. The hammer-headed bat is what's known as a megabat and is the largest species native to Africa. They have a wingspan of nearly four feet, and as someone who doesn't know what they're looking at, they appear to be nightmare creatures summoned by Dracula himself. But they are actually quite sweet and docile. They only live in a small section of Central Africa, in swamps and in mangrove forests. What's really interesting is that scientists didn't even know about this bat for a very long time. It's only really been studied extensively in recent years. The good news is that unlike other megabats, the IUCN has rated the hammer-headed bat as least concern, meaning it's nowhere near becoming extinct. Number 4. Talking Dinosaur Mexican paleontologists have found something that is simply unbelievable. They have discovered what is believed to be a new species of talking dinosaur that lived 72 million years ago. The discovery was recently announced by Mexico's Natural Institute of Anthropology and History. The specimen has been given the name Tilatophus galorum, and it once lived in what is today the northern state of Coahuila. Researchers discovered its tail, then they found its skull, and then they discovered the bony, hollow crest that it once used to communicate. The dinosaur was about 36 feet long, or 11 meters, and was one of the most talkative to have ever lived. You're probably wondering just how exactly a dinosaur could have talked. According to paleontologists, it produced low-frequency sounds very similar to what elephants produce. These sounds could have traveled many miles, allowing the dinosaurs to communicate with each other over vast distances. They would have also been able to emit sounds to scare off predators. However, even if humans had been around back then, we probably would not have been able to hear the sounds they made. Just like the sound made by elephants, they were probably at a frequency imperceptible to the human ear. Number 3. New Dragons In Brazil, two new dragon species have been discovered. Of course, these dragons don't fly or breathe fire. Instead, they are lizards that look like dragons and live in a dry, dense savanna region of Brazil called the Cerrado. The Cerrado is an ecosystem that is being destroyed as we speak by soybean plantations and charcoal production. 
it has been estimated that by 2030, only 3% of the region will remain, meaning these newly discovered dragon lizards will be long gone. The area was recently inventoried by biodiversity analysts working with Conservation International. They recorded 253 reptiles in the Brazilian Cerrado, 103 of which are endemic to the area. That means that if the area truly is reduced to nothing by 2030, there is a high likelihood that all 103 reptile species will be eradicated, including the two new little guys just discovered. These new lizards look a lot like bearded dragons, though not a lot is known about them because scientists haven't really had a chance to take specimen back to their lab. How many other species do you think have already gone extinct due to human activity in the Amazon that we never even got the chance to discover? Tell me in the comments below, then remember to subscribe to Teltanic for more intense videos. Number 2. Giant Night Scorpion As if scorpions couldn't get any more terrifying, a new species of giant night scorpion has just been found in India, in the region of the Western Ghat. Scientists working with the Institute of Natural History Education and Research described not only one new species of scorpion, but seven. They found bark scorpions in the forest and rock-dwelling scorpions outside of the forest, the latter of which are the most vulnerable to becoming extinct. Each new species is slightly different, though scientists haven't yet published the specific traits of each one. What we know is that the rock-dwelling scorpions are huge and nocturnal. They're also not venomous. What they are is in danger of extinction, which is horrifying considering scorpions have been living on our planet for the last 400 million years and have barely changed the entire time, other than shrinking down a bit. They've lived in the sea, they've grown to be giants that fed on dinosaurs, and now they are small and live throughout the desert and forests of the world, with even the newest species being in danger of vanishing. Number 1. Giant Water Centipede Even more disturbing than scientists finding new giant night scorpions is scientists discovering a new giant centipede that happens to be amphibious. What this means is that we're no longer safe on land or in the water from creepy centipedes with almost two dozen legs. This new species is a giant. It was discovered living on a couple of islands in Japan and is the first new centipede to be confirmed in nearly 150 years in the land of the rising sun. Worldwide, it's the third swimming centipede ever discovered. Get ready to be grossed out because this thing is nasty. It can grow to be 8 inches long, about 20 centimeters, which is longer than most people's hands. It has 20 pairs of legs and is crawling all over the Ryukyu Islands, which are the very south of the country, hardly ever visited by human beings. This is why they weren't found until recently. Scientists actually collected 7 specimens, suggesting that they aren't that difficult to find. It's just that nobody looked for them. According to Live Science, researchers found the centipedes hiding under stones at the bottom of stream beds. Underwater, they prey on river shrimp, and when researchers tried to catch them on land, they would dive into the water and swim away like disgusting little snakes. The centipedes seem to have adapted extremely well to island life, learning how to swim through the water and run across the land. How do you feel about these new creepy crawly monsters? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't miss another amazing video.